Hi, I'm Darren, Theory and Support Specialist with Artuzzi, and in this video we'll get an overview for the Assignment Editor. From this main screen you can see that you can create new assignments from scratch at the top or import existing assignments. We have separate videos on those topics, so here I just want to cover the basics of this screen. On the left hand side of the screen we have the familiar hamburger icon, which allows us to drag to reorder our assignments. We can preview assignments by clicking on the eyeball icon, we can also edit assignments, either by clicking on this icon or the title of the assignment itself. You have the option of copying assignments if you would like to use one as a basis for a future assignment. You can also delete an assignment entirely from your course. The start date is the point at which students can begin working on an assignment. And then your end date is essentially your deadline, the point at which students are no longer able to work on the assignment. The final column shows us the assignment status. Active assignments are marked green. This means students can work on these assignments now. Closed assignments are grayed out. This means students can no longer work on the assignments or cannot yet work on assignments. And finally, the yellow draft means I'm still working on creating the assignment and so students cannot see it. Now, if you click this checkbox, you get a dynamic menu where you can manipulate some of these variables. We can set an assignment as draft or make it active from this screen. We can also adjust the start and end times of the assignment. So I'm saying fundamentals diagnostics review should be done now. Nobody can work on it anymore. But maybe I have a change of heart and I decide to push my end date forward, in this case, one month. Such a generous instructor. Well, there you have it. There's an overview of the assignment editor. Be sure to check out our other videos for more tips on using R2Z.